So if you've been hearing about Rome and you're not quite sure why the bi-directional links are so magical, as people like to say, I thought I'd show you a quick example from yesterday that really brought it to life and hopefully gives you a good example. And if you use Rome a lot, you'll see a lot of these kind of connections, but here's a quick one for you. So I needed a new book to read. I had finished mine. So I went to my to read hashtag. So anytime I hear about a book I want to read, I throw it in here. If it's a short word like mindset, I put book in there just so it doesn't connect with other mindset things. Longer ones, how to develop a superpower memory. It's not going to get confused. So I don't put book, but I throw it in here with the hashtag to read. And in any of these, um, I put the to read here. I do this with some metadata. That's some books metadata. So I just copy that, paste it in. You don't even need to do that. <laughs> Excuse me. As long as I put a blank page with to read, that's good enough. It'll show up in my list. So I'm on to read and scrolling along, just trying to figure out what I want to do. You'll see I have audible link for a lot of these where just to get a rough idea of how long the book is, you know, page count is kind of weird anymore between print and Kindle and different things. I figure audible is a decent way. I said, ooh, essentialism, that's a great one. That's one I'd heard about, it's one I want to read. So I went to Kindle, bought it, started reading it. Um, as I was getting into it, I was a chapter or two in, I came across, came across a paragraph that was super familiar to me. I was sure I'd read it before, and I got thinking, well, darn, maybe I read this a few years ago, you know, before I took proper notes and just forgot I had read it. And I was kind of kind of bummed because it was a good book, and maybe I was going to reread it anyhow, but I thought maybe I've already read this before, but let me go just dig around in Rome and see if I find anything. So I um, typed in some of the stuff, and sure enough, as I dug around, the paragraph came up right here. I'll talk all about the word priority, how it used to be singular until the 1900s, where we thought we could have multiple priorities, which is just weird. Um, but that's where I saw it. I'm like, okay, good. I haven't read it before, but that's the only way it came up. I could actually click back through to that day. I was at a luncheon and took some notes during the luncheon. I took them on the iPad, just kind of scratched them on there, and then later came in and typed them up properly. Um, but there was the thing that Kevin Paul Scott shared back in February about that quote. That's why the quote was so familiar. It turns out in, in truth, I have not read the book before, which is great. So I'm continuing to work through that one and it's an excellent book. Uh, but that little thing is something that I don't know that would have come up with in any other system. Tying, you know, talk I went to a luncheon to hear about three months ago from a guy named Kevin in able to tie that to a book I'm reading today that I had heard about from other folks as well. Just the weird connection you can get from Rome are amazing. And this is a, a great example of that where I was able to find that paragraph that's part of the reason I wanted to read the book, but also made me realize why that paragraph was familiar. I'll probably highlight it again and connect it over. But just these little connections from, from Rome, from inside of Rome with all the, um, the two-way backlinks and stuff is just amazing. And it's a great reason why I like using Rome so much. So uh, hopefully that gives you just a little more insight into how these work. And again, over time, as you add more and more, you'll see more and more of these kinds of connections. And it can be a, a pretty awesome thing. Thanks.